Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your reading, beloveds. I welcome any of you beautiful souls that may be new to the platform, to the channel, and you already know what it is. If you are returning, love is love is love to you all. Um, I ain't even going to lie to you to kick it. <laughs> it's been cray cray. It's been really crazy. Um, the energy has been crazy. Uh, the information and affirmation that's been coming through, the downloads, the transmissions. Um, you could already see what's going on in this matrix, what they try to keep us focused on. Um, I really see a lot of just craziness. Um, it's been real chaotic. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to hold you. Um, but on the flip side of that, I've been receiving a lot of messages from spirit. And those messages come in the form of that angel number seven. It is no lie. Every time I pick up the phone, it is number seven. Every time I look at a phone, it's number seven. If I look at my clock, if I look at the phone, if I look at my computer, I'm always seeing the number seven. And it was seven on the clock just now when I said that. So, we all know that number seven is a very spiritual number. And it's also a very angelic number. That number really speaks to the work. The work that has been done. That number really speaks to the perseverance. The overcoming of obstacles, the staying focused. When everybody else doubted you, you stayed the course. When everybody else questioned your abilities, you stayed focused. You didn't get distracted. You kept your eyes on the prize. I've seen seven so much that I'm like, yo, am I tripping? I see seven like if you ever saw that movie number 23, that's how I'm seeing the number seven. And because I know that that is a way communi you know, spirit is communicating with me, and I don't get tripped out. Even my children are noticing, like, Ma, that's crazy. Because every I could just literally just pick up the phone and it'll be seven. Today I did it and it was about, like, at least ten times. It was number seven. So I say all of that to say that you all are a guiding light. You have a purpose here. There is a reason why you were born into this reality and there is a life path, a divine purpose for you. There's a reason why I'm seeing these sevens. That's not just solely for me and I just saw another seven. It's not just solely for me. I know what applies to me. Like I said, I know when it's my message, but I know when I'm to share being as though we are all Scorpios, I know when spirit puts it on my heart to share the message with the collective because it is for the collective. Look at the clock right now. I can't make this up. What time does it say? Seven. It's 646. Can you see that? 646 is seven, beloveds. And it just turned to 647. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I literally picked up my phone because I wanted to see what time it was to see if it was going to be seven and it was seven. I can't make this up. So I say all of that to say you all are very, very powerful right now. And there is going to be a lot of folks that are going to try to attach themselves to you, try to align themselves with you. Seven again on the clock, 412. And you just have to be very mindful and use discernment. I, without a shadow of a doubt, I know that you're here to help the collective. Right? But you have to be on a path that is going to be obedient to what your purpose is. So... Do not allow others for for four on the clock. So spirit is definitely saying this message is for you all. You have a calling, beloveds. I don't know how else to say it. 
I've been seeing sevens. I've been snapping photos. I'm going to show you just a couple of pictures that I've collected these past. Um, matter of fact, it was Saturday. I was driving and I saw so many 777s seven, seven, on the back of cars. I was just like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I, I, I just, I cannot. <laughs> you know, talk about like, it, it's just, it's very, very profound, you know, and I'm always open to messages. I lit one of my um, Archangel Mikael candles because I'm doing the, um, I'm doing the uh, nine week ritual. I started it in the beginning of um, January and I saw this beautiful blue glow and when I looked up, if you look closely, let me show you the picture. Let me try to pick. So if you look, you see that beautiful glow, that blue. You see that blue? That's the color of Archangel Mikael. That's the color that he radiates. Um, that's like his color. But when I looked up, you know, the information, and it says, what does it say right there? A blue flame. Definitely means that there's an angel close by. So you're lot, you have a calling. You know, I say all of that to say you have a calling. But let's just take a little peeky peek. I want to show y'all something. I want to show you. This is just all in one day, by the way. Look at all these sevens. You see that? Look. Seven, seven, seven on the back of a Honda. You could look at the date, too. Can't make this up. The date was Saturday. All right. Look at this. 404. Another 777. Can you see that? Let me enlarge it. Another 777. You see that? And it's another Saturday. That was Saturday as well. And then we saw this one. And this was also Saturday. I'm not making this up. I, I, for those of you that may be new, I'm the type that likes to show and prove. Because I don't talk because I have lips. Got a lot of people out here who are fake prophets. Who just say things because it sound good. Got another. This wasn't on Saturday. This was Sunday though. So we saw three different cars with 777. Sunday, I started off my day. Look at that. Bam. 777. Can't make this up. Can't make it up. Even if I tried, I couldn't make it up. So seven is a very profound number because we are in a seven universal year. I opened up the year with a Scorpio reading, letting you all know just how powerful this year was going to be, how spiritual this year was going to be, and how connected you all are to source. And so these messages, these downloads, some of you may be seeing sevens. What's even more powerful is I am a seven un my I have a seven life path number, as do a lot of you that were in the comment section. I just saw 808. That's another seven. So many of you beautiful souls have a beautiful calling on your life, and I feel like you all know that. I feel like you all have been doing the work. I feel like you all have discovered what your purpose is, what your passions are, and you're going to have some sort of spiritual career. You're going to be doing something, facilitating some sort of service in the spiritual realm of things. Some of you all may connect with your divine counterpart, doing part to something you do, but there is a beautiful energy surrounding Scorpios. And it is absolutely that you are a guiding light, a beacon of light, and you're on the right path, beloveds. So stay the course. Do not allow yourselves to get distracted by people and circumstances and what other people may need and desire from you. You Don't, don't get sidetracked. You have to preserve your energy for whatever mission, mission you are on. Some of you all, I feel, have been changing like you felt this instant need desire to change to change something whether it was your live it you know what I'm talking about you went from a diet to a live it uh, that's a word I stole from uh, brother Yaki awakened I think the sister that recommended this brother because I had been getting those downloads and I had never um, heard of the brother and what was interesting was she had recommended it in a comment like you need to check out Yaki Awaken in one of my videos um, from like two weeks ago. 
And um, I commented like, yeah, I'll check them out, but I never got around to it. And what was interesting is when the student is ready, the teacher shall appear. And so what pops up in my feed, a video with a beloved sister that I tune and tap into who is also on the frequency. Um, she was doing, um, she was interviewing him. And um, I tuned in and I've been watching the brothers videos ever since. It is a very, very powerful confirmation. Um, I was feel for those of you that may not have seen the video, uh, the former Scorpio reading, um, I was just discussing how important it is for us to start eating healthier, to stop eating meat and dead carcasses because the carcinogens that are in there, which causes cancer and the a plethora of disease in the body, we got to start eating fruits, vegetables, water. We got to start getting in that sun whenever they're not spraying this crap in the sky, blocking out the sun. But you have to get out in nature and you have to return to self. You have to return back to one. So it is a very, very important time right now. Everybody is not going to make it to the finish line. And I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm being real because some people are so caught up in this matrix with the buffoonery. I'm talking about reality TV shows. I'm talking about this death culture, which is called music. You know, this over sexualized content that we're seeing, they're selling you death and profiting off of it. And you're in return, not saying you all, but those that are entertaining the nonsense. It's like you're submitting your will to these this low vibrational energy. And what it does is it dumbs you down and it programs you and it sickens you. Your livid isn't just what you ingest. Your livid, I've been saying this since last year, two years ago. What you watch is also considered your livid. And if you're wondering what livid is, livid is another word for diet. I don't like that word diet. And I took that from Brother Yaki. That was a word that I, I, I had to adopt. But you have to start being mindful of what you are watching who you're listening to i've literally gone through my youtube and did exactly what i did to my instagram two years ago just deleted content that had no purpose watching grown men sit on a podcast gossiping about other people's lives is not podcasting it isn't watching Women bash men or vice versa, men bashing women and having these ridiculous asinine debates is not, not, it's just not useful in this time, in this place that we are in. Anything low vibrational had to go. Every and anything. I'm even questioning Readings like now I feel like it, it has to be deeper than just a love reading. It has to be deeper than doing a reading just for the sake of it's like, yo, the message is the message is the message. When you're working on yourself, your situation changes. You vibrate at a certain frequency and wherever you're vibrating, that's how you attract what you desire. That's how you attract even the things you don't desire. But it's all about the work you're doing on yourself. If you desire love, beloved, vibrate in the frequency of. If you're desiring a new job, vibrate in the frequency of calling that in and manifesting it. The mind is all, beloved. You have the power that they're trying to dumb you down to believe you don't have. And we have to start waking up from the sleep state. We know the answer. So many people are waking up. And they keep us divis divided amongst ourselves, fighting about nonsense when we all should be on the same accord. You're poisoning our air. You're poisoning our food. There's inflation. Cost of living is ridiculous. How the hell is there even a such thing as minimum wage when that minimum wage 
doesn't even cover anybody's basic necessities like a light bill, phone bill, or 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 even your 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 uh, your gas. Who knows? Like it's just like we gotta start paying attention to what's going on. That's why they got all these things distracting us. That's why they got these 5G technology, this 5G ish all over the place because it's frying our brains. The radioactivity is out of the roof. Technology is literally killing us. These mofos is trying to play God out here. And we sitting here worried about what this one did on a reality show, what football game is playing, what clothes we could buy. Like that stuff does not matter if this ish blows up. Like we really need to start refocusing and redirecting our energy towards living, towards getting ourselves in a space, in a time, like collecting ourselves and getting us in a place where we are prepared for whatever is to come. And not just us, but our families. Get your family on the right accord. Many of you had to go through the dark night of the soul journey alone so that you could save your family. It is your job. And when I said that, it was seven on the clock. That is some of you all's mission. That's why forgiveness is one of the 42 laws of Ma'at. There's 42 laws that you are to acknowledge each day and each night you are to take onus for whatever you did throughout your day. Whatever virtues you have to, you have to have a principle, a purpose out here, beloveds. It is time to wake up. Like that's why I said there's only a select few that's gonna make it because so many people are so routined and so programmed and just so mind upped that they can't live without their phone, they can't live without, you know, whatever, pornography, they can't live without, you know, material things. It gets to a point where we have to prioritize what's most important in our lives. And those things aren't you making these people that are rich, richer, 17, 17, that's eight, eight, 16, that's seven. These people are billionaires while we sitting here living check to check. Most of us are a paycheck away from being homeless. Keep it a buck. If some of us lost our jobs tomorrow, we wouldn't know how to we wouldn't even begin to know what to do. You got to go scramble to go find another job. It's about firing your jobs now like I'm literally looking towards my future I feel like my job is, is taking up too much of my time right now I got things to do there's work to do and I can't work on what I need to work on when I'm being I'm, 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 I'm like subjected to to 40 hours every freaking week to something that doesn't help me in any way other than just provide this material this paper, this this currency, when I have a plethora of things I could be doing to compensate for that. Because we all are blissed and gifted and highly favored. And we're dumbing ourselves down when we think otherwise. That's a trap. That's mind uckery to make you think that you got to go to school. I went to school. I got a bachelor's and a master's in psychology, beloveds. Ask me what I'm doing with it. Nothing. It's sitting on my desk right now collecting dust. It's ridiculous. $100,000 sitting on my desk collecting dust. They sell us these things and tell us what we need to do to be successful. And none of that ish works. If they wanted us to really be successful, they'll give us blueprints to how to start businesses. They'll teach us financing. They'll teach us all of the things that worked for them. They would have these, you know, seminars where multi-billionaires and millionaires and entrepreneurs of, of these, you know, billion dollar industries would come into the high schools and teach the children about how to start a business, what they need to do about their credit. They would have all of that, but it's not designed for that. We're, we're designed and programmed to be the worker bees. And that's why it's very important to unplug. You got to unplug, beloveds. 
If you're listening to a bunch of gossipy ass podcasts talking about this one's beefing with that one and this one wore this and this girl's cheating on that guy and Kanye West married some new girl and this one is like, who gives a uck? That's none of your business. That's none of my business. I don't care. I don't care. And they want you to care. The more you care about everybody else, the less you're caring about yourself. The less you're focusing on what you need to be focusing on. Because you're scrolling through the freaking gossip channels. It's like all of these guys. It's like literally, I was subscribed to a bunch of, and I'm not going to say no names. But every top podcaster right now that you could think of. With the exception of Math Hoffa, who has real dialogue talking about not only, you know, artists' lives and experiences they've been through, but he's really having, you know, dialogue about our experiences as people. I give him credit for that. It's a young brother who turned from a battle rapper into a podcaster. He considers himself a journalist. And they have really deep content. There's times when I'm like, wow, that was a very profound conversation. I learned something. But to be sitting around listening to men chit chat, that's such a a feminine behavior. That's just very feminine. Men didn't do that. When I when I grew up, men didn't sit in circles and hey, did you hear about this person, oh, well, they're, like, that is so corny to me, man. Like, wh- wh- where are we? And, they, and everybody's sounding like the other person. Everybody's using everybody else's protocol. So it's just like you just got a bunch of clone channels out here trying to be, like, the, the popular channel. And it's just like, it's just, it's, it's just excessive at this point. And nobody's talking about nothing. Nobody's discussing the things that matter. Nobody's discussing what's going on in this world. These people are literally trying to put chips in the brains, the minds of people. They ain't talking about that. They ain't talking about how China unleashed, unleashed this, this fake sun a couple months back. And people are connecting the dots and saying that fake sun and these chips are somehow, that's that's one of the builds that, that red and blue was having. It's a lot that's going on right underneath our nose. Like they said, it's hidden in plain sight and you're distracted by the nonsense. Who cares about a football game? Who cares about a basketball game when people are dying left and right from the Jabberwocky? From the hot shot they took that they was forcing people to take. They was causing division. Say, oh, if you didn't get this, then you you don't care about humanity. You know, they was literally trying to cause division and it worked. And now nobody's covering. You notice how it's all hush. You, You don't see anything on the mainstream media about this. Why? How come none of these brilliant podcasters aren't discussing it? It's ridiculous out here, man. Music isn't music anymore. If you want to hear music, you're going to have to dig in the crates. D-I-T-C, for real. You're going to have to dig in the crates. That's the, it, like, music died with our ancestors. With, with the likes of a Michael and a Prince and a Levert and a, and a, a Jimi Hendrix and a, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, it's, there's no more music. The music is being compromised. The, the food, the water. The air. We are being compromised. These people are out here trying to play God. And that's why it will behoove you to wake up. And the first thing you could do is change your mind about how you're going to exist. How you are going to move forward. It's time, man. It's time. First thing you can do, the best thing you can do is start being more mindful of what you're ingesting. Because it has a lot to do with your psychology. There's food psychologists. Do you know that these people are literally serving, like, especially in these restaurants. Like, they do tests. They do laboratory tests on rats to test how addictive these burgers are that they're selling you. These french fries. 
That shit ain't even food, beloved. It's part of my language. It's not even food. It isn't food. You're not eating food. You're eating something that was made in a chemical laboratory. And they're testing rats. To see how addictive it would be. That's why you can't. Some of y'all who like them cheeseburgers and Big Macs and Whoppers. You can't drive past the restaurant without doing a U-bop and going and getting that burger and them fries. Because there's something going on within the brain. It is all dopamine effects. It's just like when they used to pump Coca-Cola with Coke. And then they stopped that. Now, who knows what they're putting in the damn food. I know for a fact that, like I told y'all in the form of reading, when I look on the back of my ingredients, most people don't even look on the back of their ingredients. Most people don't even care. You look on the back of that, half of that issue you can't even pronounce. But when I look on the back of my food and I see genetically modified or bioengineered, I put that ish right on back down in the aisle. I do not take it and ring it up. And I don't know what that means. We got to start taking care of ourselves, beloved. This food has bloated us up. It has bloated me. I literally, just in this short period of time from this whole CV epidemic or pandemic, I literally gained pounds because I was eating out. Feasting on meat and, and ish, falling completely off the radar. Completely off, falling off my game, completely slipped and slipped and bumped my damn head, literally. And then when this year opened up, it was like spirit just said, boom. It was like I was zapped out of the, it was like I, I, I received that, that download I needed. And, and, and the way that it came to me was like they were showing me a biohazard symbol in my mind's eye. Letting me know what you think you're eating and feasting on is not called food. It's poison where I come from. That's not food. So we got to be mindful, beloveds. I know this is a whole diatribe, but I'm feeling more like I got to focus on talking to you all. And building with you all about what's really going on. Like what's really good. What's really, really going on out here. Because a lot of people aren't aware. A lot of people got their heads shoved in their phones all day. They're not even looking up in the sky to see that there's 50 planes flying and, and, and spraying chemtrails on your head. They're not even recognizing that every full moon... They up there manipulating the weather so that it'll be a cloudy night and the moon is blotted out. Everything right now is chemically, G is, is like genetically being modified and it's, it's just not, it's just not, it, it's not wise to, to be ignorant of that truth. And it would behoove me to let you all know what I am noticing, experiencing. I'm not just here to pump your head up with, with, you know, sweet nothings telling you about how amazing life is going to be and how much love you got coming in. Like spirit is really putting it on my heart to have these real dialogues and these, these, these real conversations because it's just real out here, beloveds. We are a soul tribe, a soul family, and we have to, we got to look out for each other. All we have is each other. We are a part of the human race. So it's going to affect each and every one of us. Color has no play in this. It doesn't matter what color you are. That's why they use the divide and conquer. Because it works. That's why they use your color. And your so-called so ethnic background. And where you come from. And your locality as a means. To have you all fighting against each other. Because when you all are fighting against each other. They can be over here. Manipulating some more ish to keep you confused. The majority of the people that watch me are from other countries. I've looked at my stats from other countries. It's, it's amazing. Which tells you that energy doesn't lie. We are all on the same. We got the same fight, beloveds. We have the same fight and we have to start waking up. It's very critical right now. Critical times. You got these people out here shooting up stuff. Like, it's it's getting crazy. People are losing their whole minds. 
And I said, like, life is, as we know it is never going to be the same. So we got to start doing the things that will have us, will have us here, not just here, but have us, you know, win in this fight. So whatever that entails, changing your, your livets, doing more research, reading, unsubscribing from the nonsense and getting all of that junk out of your, your filter, like just start deleting people that are not adding value to your life. Like literally, like it's nobody's having no real conversations. X them out of your life. X them out of your feed. On all platforms. I wouldn't even be on TikTok if I was y'all. Because I posted a couple months ago the Privacy Act on TikTok. They're literally selling all of your stuff. They're tapping into your phone. They can access all of your contacts. They can access your 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 um your emails. They can access your your notifications, not your notifications, your messaging systems. They can turn on the microphone when and when like I, I showed you the video. And people are still on there. Follow me on TikTok. What? I don't even I never even seen TikTok. I never even had the application. I don't have Facebook. My Instagram I kept because I have family, but I don't even be on there. I used to have how many I had about a a good I would say oof, I don't even know how many um cuz I haven't been on there so long. I don't even want to lie to you, but I do know that I had like I just stopped following about about 5,000 people like I don't know you. What are you talking about? Bye. What what is this nonsense? Bye. Um I don't care about your shoes. Bye. Like I was just like Bye. Get out of here. That's not that's not adding value. We got to be mindful, beloveds. It's 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 a lot going on. There's too much going on for us to just be just acting like we don't see it. And if you really don't see it, you better wake the up. Because this ish is going on right in front of your face. Like I said, hidden in plain sight. If some of y'all did get that little jabberwocky, y'all should probably go check out that brother Yaki Awakened. Because that brother has metals. Like he got a detox to get the metals out of your system. He got something called... Um, um, not something. He has um, some herbs. It's called bitters. You know, it gets everything regulated. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just time to start to really start loving ourselves. You want to attract love? Love yourself first. That's a part of loving yourself. Being mindful of the, the garbage that you're ingesting and you're listening to and you're watching. And it's, it's really time, man. We, we got to take our power back. You cannot be. How you want to be a slave to the damn machine? Like how we're literally, if you really sit down and take account of your day, how much of that time are you really investing in reading, researching or self-love like yoga, taking a walk, going out in nature or preparing a, a cook, not even a cook meal, but preparing a meal. You know what I'm saying? Like how much of that time is really being invested in the self-love or how much are you just sitting around scrolling on a phone or sitting on a computer looking at YouTube or sitting in front of the television and listening to a bunch of nonsense. There's nothing on any of these news outlets, TV programs that's going to wake you up. Nothing at all. They're just dumbing you down. There's people dying all over the place and they not mentioned. They ain't say the peep. And that's by design. And when you do say something, how come nobody notices? Like, you can't even speak truth. You can't even. Truth is power. So people who are speaking truth, people who are trying to forewarn individuals, were getting shadow banned, were getting kicked off their platforms. They were being called crazy. So much stuff going on out here. And people sitting around listening to grown men gossip about nonsense that don't make no difference in your life. 
Got all these podcasters, million followers. What are you following somebody who's sitting around talking about nothing all day? That's where we are as a society. It's a deaf culture. Deaf, dumb, blind. So you got to align with your power, beloveds. But I digress. This is what's on my heart, man. I just really feel the need. You know, like I said, I've been seeing sevens all over the place. And I know for a fact, for you Scorpios out there that's tuning in, y'all got some, y'all got some fire. Y'all got some stuff that you are here to share with the world. Y'all are beacons of light. You are light bringers. And it, shamans, light workers, healers, you're here for a purpose, for a reason. Don't get distracted off your path. And don't feel the need to save people who are not trying to save themselves either because they're going to slow you down. Some of them, that's their tactic, is to try to slow you down because they see you headed this way. And if they can slow you down, then they could get you to go off your path. So let's pick up some cards, beloveds. So if you are new here, my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So it will behoove you to check your moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, Mars. Check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you, beloveds. Uh, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has found you, whenever this video has popped up in your feed, well, that was divine timing and in divine order that it is done so. I'm going to do a little bit of house cleaning before I even touch these cards. Pardon me. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. And I do want to get a little bang, bang, boogie on my gong. I want to get the energy right because that was very, very... Um, that was some, some energy. <laughs> I don't want to say it was heavy because it wasn't heavy, but it was, it was some energy. So let's go ahead and take three deep inhales through the nasal and three exhales through the, your mouths. Ah, shay. So let's go ahead. Again. Last time. Thank you, spirit. So let's go ahead, get it gone going. Beautiful souls. Let's tap in. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on. 
All right, it is 7.23 officially on the clock. So that breaks down to 12. 12 breaks down to 3. So I'm feeling like an energy of, you know, passion, power, manifesting. That's the energy of the Empress. Um, definitely very attractive. So you're attracting things to you. Uh, I feel you're very, very much... Um, very strategic you know it's like you know whatever it is that you are thinking whatever it is you're working on crafting um it's like it will materialize um we have aman omari it's called energy so just as i said your energy is very attractive um empress attracts what she desires she doesn't go after it just like the emperor um they attract what they desire they attract what they uh you know what they want to um, write to them so we have on the bottom of the deck we have a 78 spiritual career look at this I was just expounding on how powerful you all are and how much um, you know it these sevens are just telling you that there's a uh, there's a purpose you have a divine purpose here in this reality uh and i feel strongly it's to help the collective and then we have this 78 spiritual career here this uh breaks down to the number 15 which breaks down to the number six so i strongly feel like whatever your gifts are um it has something to do with your psychic abilities your foresight uh maybe you are you are a channeler of some sort. Maybe your clairs are very um, advanced, heightened, uh, like clairvoyant, clairaudient. Um, I didn't say my spiel. Also, I'm an empath, channel messages intuitively, um, and I am clairaudient. So some of you all could also be that as well. But I do feel like there's some of you all, there's no doubt about it that you are going to have a very successful career. Um, you all know this because we have Aman Omari playing energy. So I do feel like you all are also very sensitive when it comes to energy. So you may be a, like an empath as well like you may be able to pick up on people's energy maybe right now you're getting a lot of downloads uh maybe at this time you're having lucid dreams um there's just a sense of like you are very very skilled at uh picking up on energy this is also about trusting your inner wisdom trusting that inner compass not going against what you know is right and just for you um but doing what feels right in your spirit first and foremost uh, by utilizing discernment. So that's beautiful. So we have on the split. Look at that. There goes that three. We just saw three. And here we have it. So this is the number of that divine feminine, the creative energy. See how radiant this card is? That's yellow. So this speaks to the beauty, the attraction, the strength that I was picking up, the power. Um, this is just an energy of you exuding that confidence. This is also the number of the solar plexus. So there does seem to be um, a sense of you being very grounded, very, very spiritually um in tune tapped in uh because that that's solar plexus that's the gut that's the stomach and your stomach acts as a second brain as well so i do feel again this is just telling you um that you are very uh very wise um very strong very courageous i feel like there's been a whole lot of healing like maybe you are a healer as i said a shaman um you have a very nurturing energy very very uh maternal energy um you're seen as a beacon of light to many um and that's what i was feeling i kept hearing in my mind's eye beacon of light um you know that you are here to to heal the collective in some way shape form or fashion and this six and three reduces to nine and nine is the number of the um you know that uh hermit uh, but it's also like someone may, um, you know, you may be really like focused on self-love, self-care. You're putting you first. Um, and in doing so, um, there is a sense that like you're, you're channeling all of that energy and you are co-creating with source and you're going to have some sort of success in a very spiritual in the spiritual realm of things we have dawn richard and this is called frequency 
So Dawn Richards, so you all are vibrating very high and we got 4444 on the clock right now. So that's a message of your angels. Your angels are saying you're vibrating very high and so there will be recognition and rewards because I'm getting like wish fulfillment from this as well. Um, you know, because I'm getting like the nine of cups and you know that's that energy of like, you know, you're, you're selfish and you're loving you, yourself and you. Um, so whatever it is you're doing, um, I'm even getting like that nine of pentacles energy, uh, which is really like that pre emperor status or pre emperor status status, uh, where you've like really been like focused, like you've been really working hard. That's what the empress and the emperor does. Like you, you've reached that level of self mastery. You are wiser. Um, and you're also enlightened. This yellow speaks to the, the wisdom, the clarity, the truth that you've been able to obtain just through your own. Um, observations and uh, self-assessments and so I do feel like your your frequency is very very um, oh god what is this saying oh um, your frequency is just very high at this time so divine spirit of love and light what messages do we have for my beautiful Scorpios this is going to be a long one beloved because I had that long build in the beginning um, so you know how I do deep dives if you are new here, this is a deep dive reading. I go in, you know, and those who have been here long enough, they, they appreciate the deep dives. And those who don't, well, um, you have been forewarned. You know, if you've made it this far, then you already know how I do, how I get down. So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my beautiful, beautiful Scorpio. We're going to cut this deck. I do it three times. I like to cut three times. I like to do things in threes. Just feel like that just, you know, it's a powerful number. It's the number of the Ascended Master. So I really like to make sure I give all this, these cards an opportunity to come out as they may. So bottom of the deck, what do we have here? Number 13, 13 is the card of death that's the your card your energy it says 13 effort so i feel like as i said like something you've been working on all the efforts all the the hard work all of that energy is being it's being acknowledged i feel like it led to some change it led to some sort of transformation um we got marvin gay and this is called distant lover so some of you all may have someone that's at a distance from you. It could be emotional or physical distance. I feel like someone's lack of effort or maybe someone's, um, you know, not showing that that attention, not being attentive um, could have led to the demise of a connection. But this brought somehow some sort of, um, you know, independence for you. Uh, 4747, I saw, which is 1111. So this could be someone that is a twin flame. This could be someone in the past that didn't make the effort and now they may want to return because maybe they see this as, you know, a, a connection or a relationship um, that has slipped from them because I'm getting like the Four of Cups. Uh, so maybe they look at you as the one that got away. Uh, their lack of effort, maybe they are starting to see is what led to that demise. Um, they also see you as their twin flame. Um, they are also opening up their heart chakra because uh, that's the number of the heart chakra as well, that number four. It's also the emperor. So there is like that mirrored energy. We just saw the three. Now we're seeing the number four. Um, so that is a suit that is, um, you know, that yin and yang vibration that is duality. So I do feel like someone acknowledges you as an empress and they're going to come in and make the effort because four is about stability. It's about, um, you know, establishing some sort of foundation, uh, wanting to you know, nurture, cultivate a connection because four is really about, uh, you know, the sturdiness. It's about, you know, um, you know, setting that that um, template to to really build upon. Um, so this is someone that really sees you as perhaps like, you know, the twin flame because that four is also the vibration of 1111. We have on the bottom of the deck 32 and it says music. So whoever or whatever you're attracting to you for some of you all, it could be like you all could be awakening to the fact that you love music, that you are musicians. Some of you all may have a calling to, um, 
to sing, to rhyme, uh, to write music, to play instruments. Um, some of you all have some sort of gift um, artistically or creatively. Uh, regarding music. I feel like this is something that you all may have realized uh, during your time of, um, you know, tutelage, learning and, and, and healing. Um, maybe you've been uh, sitting with someone and learning how to play instruments. Um, I'm, I keep hearing sheet music in my mind's eye. So maybe some of you are actually learning how to write sheet music and that's very impressive. Um, that was one of Prince's um, like biggest uh, complaints about the industry when he was, um, you know, before he became an ancestor was that, you know, how much music has changed. Um, you know, it devolved, I should say, uh, where there was a time where you had musicians playing instruments and then it got faded out by these machines, you know, these, these, these um you know, these these um, studio equipments, you know, and, and, and people making these fake beats instead of playing like the drums or the piano or learning to play the guitar. They're just cheating. It's like you're literally cheating. And so, you know, maybe I'm, I'm feeling like somebody's actually learning how to play like instruments, learning how to write sheet music. Um, some of you all are um, definitely attracting uh, some sort of um, perhaps a career, you know, you may be making like for some of you all I'm hearing gospel music. It could be gospel rap or for others. It could be like conscious music, um, underground hip hop, like we, where you are, um, like on the frequency, the music is high vibrational opposed to like death culture, sex, murder, drugs, and all of that nonsense uh, that keeps society in the sunken place. Um, but I feel like whatever you are creating, um, it's it's coming in from your your higher self. It's it's like tap you're tapping into your spiritual self because that five is associated with the hierophant. So um, I definitely keep hearing tutelage as well in my mind's eye. We have Atlantic Star. Are, and this is called Secret Lovers. So some of you all definitely have someone who could be hearing music, uh, which is reminding them of you. Maybe this is someone that you haven't spoken to in a while because I'm getting like the throat chakra. So this person may be like a secret admirer. Um, this could be someone that's definitely... Um, you know, looking at you as a wish fulfillment because that star is kicking off, um, you know, sticking out. Some of you all may live by the Atlantic Ocean. Um, or traveling on the Atlantic Ocean, something like that. So let's tap in, beloved. All right, so who is this, uh, or what, who or what is this that Scorpios are attracting to them? May have a message of love and light. Who or what is this that Scorpio is attracting to them? May have a message of love and light. And with that secret lovers, I mean, I'm definitely picking up, especially with this four here, that it could be a divine masculine if you're feminine, and if you're feminine it could be i mean if you're masculine it could be a divine feminine coming in so we have on the bottom of the deck it says base chakra so this is working you know from the root and and really you know finding um the strength to stand erect you know to stand your ground stand up for what you believe in speak your truth this is also about security and family um healing past wounds traumas uh healing from childhood issues um, doing that shadow work, you know, this is about the life and death. And remember, we had this uh, 13, which represents death. Um, I definitely feel like this death is also uh, speaking to, you know, what's happening right now in the world. Um, there's a lot of death and we still have to make the effort to see, you know, the silver lining to not get um, distracted by what may be going on, but just being aware, um, stay in a high vibration. And, 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 you know, I really feel like if you stay in a high vibration and do meditations, um, to ask for peace on this planet, uh, calling in your angels, your spirit team, um, that could also raise the vibration, but this is also a very spiritual time. Um, so I do feel like, there's a cleansing and a purge that's taking place, but to protect yourselves um, and to protect those that you love around you, um, 
I would also suggest that you, you know, you do more meditating, connecting and grounding yourself. Connect with Mother Gaia, connect with your spirit team more. Um, so we have here, it says 46 domestic partnership. So who you are attracting to you is someone who apparently sees you as, you know, um, a wife material. This is a secret lover. So the person you're attracting to you is uh, domestic harmony. This is 46. This reduce, reduces to 10. So this could be someone who could be, you know, kind of um, going through some sort of breakup or separation. Um, and they're going to be back at that one status, which is really about um, a new beginning about taking action, moving in a different direction. Uh, but whatever they're going through, I feel like, you know, this domestic harmony card at a 10 is saying that there was something that um, that met its demise. Um, and that could be the reason why there was no effort made, uh, you know, if this is someone that you know. Um, there was no efforts made with you. No one um, really, you know, took the initiative um, or reciprocated uh, because they could have been in a relationship, in a marriage, in a partnership with someone else. And this was a secret, um, something you may not have known. Um, how this person feels about you is this number three. Uh, they see you as an empress, a goddess. Uh, that card did show up a few minutes ago. So this is someone that absolutely, and we did, it was three when we first started the reading officially, um, not my build, but the reading. And so this is someone with all this yellow. It's almost as if they've had some sort of epiphany. And with Atlantic Star, like I said, they see you as a wish fulfillment. Uh, this is someone that may see you as the yin to their yang because this is the three and the four. Um, so someone absolutely could have juggled, um, you know, could have had other options or could have been in a domestic partnership that you weren't aware of. Um, which led to the demise because this person couldn't reciprocate whatever gestures of love because they were already committed. And so that's why I was picking up like that nine of cups because I feel like you may have first walked away and then focused on the self. That nine is really about selfish loving me, myself, and I. We have Kalara and this is called gold. So this person definitely sees you as um, very abundant, very successful, um, very prosperous and wealthy. Um, they may see you as having some sort of, you know, spiritual um, abundance, prosperity, or, you know, because this could also be like gold. You know, this color yellow um, is very, you know, it's very reminiscent of a, yellow, a gold tint. But um, this is someone that sees you as very successful in whatever it is you're doing um like you are um very abundant um very powerful you know this is someone that just sees you as um you know like a master manifester or you have some sort of material wealth or blessings um and with that base chakra maybe someone is you know really um still uh Trying to get off first base is what I just heard. <laughs> yeah, because that's what's hidden is like, yeah, the, the, I don't feel like there was much progress in the past with this person, as I said, because I do feel like, especially with these two cards together, like somebody was like totally committed in a commitment in a relationship that you may not have known about, or maybe you were in a relationship with this person and they had something else going on on the side. Either way, how they're feeling now about you is that you are an empress or an emperor. Very attractive, very wise, very powerful. You know, um, you could be like, like a maternal figure. Um, you could be birthing new ideas, new ways of thinking, very creative. Um, I'm hearing trendsetter, trendsetter, renaissance man or woman, um, a self-starter. I'm hearing you've revolutionized something. Maybe some of you all have some really, um, some really groundbreaking ideas or you have some sort of business that is like, it's like one of a kind or maybe that's just like I said, um, you know, the spiritual uh, career is going to catapult you uh, where you will have major success. 
um because we did see that spiritual career so what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful scorpios may i have a message of love and light spirit what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful scorpios may i have a message of love and a message of light what's hidden in the energy beautiful spirit for my beautiful scorpios may I have a message of love what's hidden is someone is really taking their time a little apprehensive in communicating okay and when they do communicate, they're just going to blurt a bunch of stuff out. They're going to just say how they feel. We got 14 moderation. So that's why it was taking so long because someone's really, really working on themselves. They're trying to like match your energy because remember we saw that um, we saw that five. Um, what was that card? Oh, man, I hate when I can't remember. But there was a five card and it was, um, you know, and I said it was like the Hierophant. So what's hidden in the energy is we have happy ending here. So there is going to be, like I said, a happy ending. Somebody's just going to come in and just kind of like, they're just going to like, I keep hearing like they're going to vomit their truth. Like this, it's just going to come out. And we have this uh, 16 rebirth here for the outcome along with four perseverance. So as I've said in the beginning, I was just, you know, feeling like, you know, whatever you all have been through, um, you definitely you know, were very resilient um, on your journey, your shadow work, you know, doing your shadow work. And there's no question about it that someone really wants to start. They want a new start. They want a new beginning because they see goddess in you. They see God in you like you have like emerged someone completely different, someone that they admire, someone they respect, someone that they now have a lot of love for. Um, they respect you because they've seen how much you've worked on yourself. It's almost like this person is trying to mirror your energy in a, in, in a, you know, a strange way. Because with this, what's hidden in the energy is 93, that's 12, and that's happy ending. And how they feel about you is 3 here. So they do feel like you bring a lot of happiness and joy. They could be trying to, you know, um, return because that 3 is giving me like the 3 of cups. They want a celebration. They want victory. They want you know, to have some major breakthrough with you. Um, so they could be kind of trying to uh, telepathically communicate. You know, this is someone who's also gone through some major change and now they are rushing in like that chariot that they are. You know, they're vibrating in that energy of, of confidence and uh, being more self-aware, um, doing their work, which is why this four is here. I was speaking to someone's heart chakra being wide open in this green would definitely insinuate just that how much healing someone has done um and that four is also the vibration of that 11 11 so you know someone is coming to you know this knowledge someone has you know become aware of how they see you how they feel about you um even the mistakes they made they could be walking away from someone to walk towards you to offer um you know to make an offer to you we have um Come on, I'm not trying to do that. All right, we got, he's the greatest dancer, and this is by Sister Sledge. So this person, I feel, you know, definitely feels like um, with he's the greatest dancer, maybe this person was like tap dancing. I keep, you know, I'm hearing like tap dancing in my mind's eye. Like they was just tap dancing around the truth, you know, tap dancing around the issues, just playing games, but they've been making changes. Uh, this person has been working very, very diligently on themselves, and there's been a lot um, uncovered. There's been a lot unearthed um, about who they are. You know, they may have received some cloth talk, you know, from a maternal or paternal figure, an, an elder, maybe a pastor, preacher, uh, but they sought out wise counsel um, so as to to um, begin this healing process so as to take some accountability. Um, and I feel like that's what's going to initiate uh, conversations uh, in which they will start to, you know, express themselves um, more freely. Um, so that's interesting. That's beautiful. I like that, actually. So with this 14, let's see what's underneath that. Yep. I can't make this up. Look, I can't make this up. What did I say? This person's going to communicate. And there goes the 33 communication. They could be communicating with you telepathically. I feel like this person was like egoic, very egoic, very, you know, very pompous, you know, my way, highway, do things on their own, you know. 
could have had, you know, that, that, you know, just that, that stubbornness, even thick headedness and, uh, they're slowly but surely having some sort of ego death. And this is that same energy because this is the person you're attracting. So that 46 domestic harmony and this 91 is both 10. So I feel like they are indeed doing the necessary work. You know, they could be healing their inner child. That's why that base chakra showed up as well. Because that's about healing. You know, you have to start at the root and work your way up. You know, so you got to work at the start at the basement and, you know, take that elevator all the way up to the crown. Um, and I feel like that's what someone is really working on themselves. And it's because, you know, when you're vibrating in an energy of like, you know, divine feminine or divine masculine, it's, it's, it's if this person knows they have to come in and match your vibration, your frequency. Remember, we had... Um, who was that singing Frequency? Good Lord. I don't know who that was, but there was a song called Frequency. Um, so someone is definitely intentionally uh, wanting and desiring to uh, match your vibration and your frequency because you are vibrating quite high. You know, you're definitely in that seven vibration. So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see what we got from the Goddesses and Sirens deck. I have not really used this deck as much, and it's a very beautiful deck, so I'm going to use it tonight. And so what do we have on the bottom of the deck? We have Oya. Oh, man, this is Scorpionic energy right here. Mama Oya. This is one of the beautiful Orishas that I call into my reading. So this is beautiful, and she represents power. Mama Oya is... Um, you know, storm is fashioned after Mother Mama Oya because she controls like the weather. She's very powerful. So this is beautiful. Some of you all, you are tapping into your power, man. You're really tapping into your power. You are really, um, I feel like a healer, a shaman, a light worker. And it has something to do um, with your ability to intuitively or um, psychically you know connect to energy that's one of your gifts your powers um, we have the muses and it says inspiration and what did I say earlier you all are in a beacon of light and this is why I'm telling you you all are an inspiration to others your power you're exuding this power this confidence this strength and it's uber attractive it's attractive but it's also it could be intimidating if you're not in your if you're not vibrating on that frequency you could be intimidated if you haven't done your shadow work i don't feel anybody else should make i don't care if i'm sitting next to you know beyonce you know what i'm talking about like i i would never feel inferior to another woman you know what i'm talking about and that's how you should feel about yourselves. Like you the baddest thing walking in there. When you could walk in a room full of so-called celebrities and stars and you will shift the energy and vibration. And if you don't think that about yourself, then I don't know what to tell you because you should always think highly of yourself. Society makes you feel like, oh, you know, you're conceited, like it's a bad thing. You're supposed to believe that you are God made in God's image and you can manifest. The mind is all. If you're telling yourself how how unattractive you are, then I don't think you're going to get very far. Or how broke you are. Tell me where that gets you in five years. You just keep on saying them same words. Words have frequencies and vibrations. That's what that's the reason why if you speak to your water positively, it, it, it forms these beautiful geometric symbols. And when you speak words that, are, that are, are negative and have a negative connotation, it creates these geometric symbols that are like very sharded. So it's like they convince you. They try to like mind uck you. It's like mind. It's like, it's like reverse psychology out here. But I digress. So this is the energy. You all are inspira inspirations to others because... You are, in fact, powerful beings. You have gifts. You have gifts here. You have a purpose here. You have a mission. You have a divine purpose. And I feel like you are going to inspire and heal and help so many people. Once you tap into that energy, once you start living your purpose and your truth, 
Some of you all may need, like I said, to stop distracting yourself with things that are taking you away from what you should be focusing on. This is a seven universal year, which is a very spiritual year, but it's also a time of you like walking in your truth taking the time to nurture yourself, to feed your mind, to get rid of habits, things that no longer serve your highest good. You have to like let it go. It's just like a, a, a spaceship that goes out into, you know, space. It's like you notice how they they release those two tanks so that it won't like, you know, because it's dead weight, basically. So it's time for you all to do the same. You're ascending higher. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get rid of all of the dead weight, all of the bad habits, all of the people that may be holding you back and expecting you to carry them on your back. Like you, people got to be self-sufficient out here. You know what I'm saying? You teach a man how to fish, you teach them how to fish, then they will eat for the rest of their life. But if you fish for them, they ain't going to know how to do nothing. But ask, can you give me, please, I need, like get out of here. No. So we got Buddhika. It says Buddhika, unity. You are here to bring unity. You are here to, to help heal the collective. Didn't I say that your family, some of you all, gone, you have gone through like a dark night of the soul journey on your own. You are the healer of your family, of your generation. And it is your duty to heal your family. <clears throat> My throat is getting blocked. Look at that. Some of y'all aren't speaking to your family. And the more healing you do on yourself, the more healing you do on your family. But remember what I said, forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is one of the 42 laws of Ma'at. It was just one, 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 one. What is that? Five. So you got to change your mind. Some of y'all have been in, in, in this conflict with your family. Some of you all feel like there was like, you know, competition. So some people you got to love from a distance and you pray for them. But you have to forgive. You cannot let that weight weigh you down. You won't be able to ascend nowhere and grow and elevate anywhere if you're still holding on to animosity and anger for what you have supposedly been healing from. You can't be healed and angry at the same time. It's just, it's just that's not how you, that works. You know what I'm talking about? Like you really have to forgive those that have hurt you in order to be so-called healed. You have to forgive people because when you forgive someone, it's not about that person and what they did. It's not about the deed. It's about the lesson you've learned from that experience. That's all it's ever been about. But when you're holding on to these these, you know, these experiences and these situations where someone may have wronged you, you that, that's weight. That's energetic weight. That's an energetic anchor. And you can't you can't go anywhere when you're anchored. So that is like a mind fuck that people tell themselves, yeah, I'm past it, but they still be having resentment and animosity. You say someone's name and they just get it all up in a, you know, in a roar. And it's like, nah, you're not healed yet, beloved. You still got some healing to do. And that's fine. Sometimes it takes time. Nobody's telling you to rush the process. You can't rush the process. It's very critical for us to do this healing work, to heal our inner child. Some of us are healing from past life issues. That's why it's been so difficult to to kind of break certain belief systems and to, you know what I'm saying? Because you've been going through a cycle for, you know, several times. But now is the time, like if you really wish to 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 um, be lighter, you have to let it go. You got to let whatever it is. Let that lie go. Let that deceit go. If they don't went behind your back and had a baby go, let it go because it is not affecting no one but yourself. That stress that all of that is doing is eating up your insides and you're creating, you know, because there's cells. It's like cells actually have memory, you know, and when you're just sitting there and you're rooted in festering in anger and pain and hurt and trauma. It's it literally will it, it can take on like it continues on for generations. That's why they feel like, you know, there's a lot of us that are, you know, under generational curses because of the trauma that some of our ancestors experienced. And then they procreated under those conditions and it was passed on. 
you know, and it's just like we we got to do the work. Like if you are that chosen one and you know, if you're the chosen one, if you're like by yourself doing it, that's a sign. If you were always the odd woman out, odd man out, if you was always that so-called black sheep, white sheep, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? If you was always labeled crazy or you was always the person that everybody said was the conspiracy theorist because you chose to do things your way because you had your own mind. Then I'm talking to you, beloveds. You got to forgive. Forgiveness is for you. Go look up the 42 laws of Ma'at. I always call the justice card Mama Ma'at because Mama Ma'at is about karma. She's about justice. She's about doing things Fair and justly. Fairly and justly. It's about the scales. Mama Ma'a actually, in ancient Kemetic, they, um, um, t um, ancient Kemetic, um, history, they would weigh the heart with the feather. And so what do you think that heart is a replication, you know, is a, is a, um, a symbol of? It's, it's, is your heart pure? Is your heart free of all of the virtues that they say we ought to live with? Or all of the laws that you, you can't walk around judging others? You know, that's why even the meat, eating the meat is on there. Because you are to treat the animals with reverence. You are to respect the animals. They have just as much right to live as you do. They've been here, some of them, longer than us. And so to be sitting here feasting on them, I don't, that's just, you know. But I digress. Like I said, no judgment zone. But I'm speaking to some of you because some of y'all, it's this message is for y'all. Y'all have been feeling the same way. Like I said, some of y'all, I just be speaking to the choir. I be preaching to the choir. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, shade. So let's go ahead. Let's clarify these messages. Beloved, we are already an hour and 16 minutes into the reading. So divine spirit of love and light. We get a message of love and light. We're going to clarify these messages. Let's see what we got coming in for my beautiful Scorpios. Cut this Dizek. Whenever my nose gets a tingling, whenever you see me doing this all throughout the reading, that's when I'm tapping into the energy. It's one of the ways, one of the little sensations I feel. Bottom of the deck is going to clarify the overall energy, which is 13 effort. And what do we have? We have Helen of Troy, beauty. So, as I said, and then we have Lakshmi, and it says prosperity. And I was speaking to how some of you all are going to be very prosperous, very abundant. You not only have, I feel like, you know, spiritual abundance, you know, but I feel like, you know, with this Empress energy, she's very, very abundant, very successful, very, you know, she's achieved many, many goals in her life. Accomplished, I should say many goals but with this beauty this is how you're seen you know whatever transformation that you have gone through whatever change that you have made you know you've emerged someone absolutely attractive your your scene is strong your scene is very passionate you're seen as someone who has you know really worked hard to to find the stability within yourself I feel there's also the sense of like someone who, um, because this is Helen of Troy and there's like this masculine energy kind of like right behind her. So someone could be like just looking, you know, back and realizing the love, you know, that they have, you know, this, this beauty, you know, that could be that energy I was picking up, like the four of cups where someone is just kind of like reflecting back, like, dang, you're the one that got away. What is playing? I can't even see what's playing. You know, so this is someone that's definitely looking at you as, um, you know, very beautiful and very attractive. If you're a masculine, very handsome, you know, very dapper. Someone who is, you know, just all of the things um, that excites them. You know, and this greatest dancer song was still playing. Somehow I hit the pause button and not <laughs> so I'm just gonna go to the next song because we already got that download and what we have playing right now is the bruised soul so this is my daughter's song my daughter's song it's called the bruised soul so 
definitely there was uh, something that happened very traumatic which led to the demise as I was saying the death it could be you know a physical death like losing a loved one losing um, an ancestor you know or maybe someone just as I said went through some sort of separation um, and now they're seeing the light now they're seeing your beauty um, you know, now they're realizing how much they love you, how much their heart is open to you. Um, also recognizing the efforts um, that they didn't make, you know, um, and the the love that they may not have shown. But someone is seeing your beauty now. Someone could be dealing with someone named Helen or Troy. There could be an H or a T in someone's name that you are dealing with, first, middle, or last. And with Lakshmi prosperity here and notice how there's a masculine and feminine energy on both of these cards and I was picking up earlier when we picked up the three which was the feminine energy and the four I was saying how that was a suit so and we also saw that 11 11 47 47 I believe it was so that's also telling me that that was like you know a twin flame or someone you have a very profound connection with um, with this bruised soul epilogue song um, this could be someone who definitely has gone through some some sort of painful ending with someone they were in a relationship with. And so they could be healing from that. They could be really uh, taking the time out to heal. Uh, and once they have healed, they will take action, I feel. Because that 46 is giving me like the end of a cycle. You know, something has come full circle. They could have been in a karmic relationship. I am feeling like someone is in a commitment, living with someone, they're cohabitating with someone, but something is coming to an end. Um, and with this prosperity, I feel like this, every ending denotes a new beginning. Uh, so I do feel like maybe someone is, um, you know, they could be someone that's um, kind of like well off, you know, um, very abundant in their own right. Why is 46 domestic harmony here? Why is 46 domestic harmony here for the person or who uh, Scorpio are attracting to them? And we have Vesta home. So someone feels like they want to return back to you because you feel like home. Love is a house is what I'm hearing. Because that's we're about to, you know, after we clarify the 46 domestic part harmony for the person you're attracting, how they feel about you. This Vesta home is here on the bottom of the deck. So they definitely feel like they want to return. I was feeling like somebody wanted to return. They wanted to reunite, you know, reconnect, celebrate. But this is a segment. It says um, reduction. So reduction is definitely, like I said, when you, you know, reduction, this is like someone is, you know, kind of like, I feel taking away from a situation um, what they could and moving on. You know, um, this is really like someone who's realizing that this situation doesn't feed or nurture them. It, it, it kind of is it's depleting them of their happiness. You know, it, it's it's not a happy situation. It's kind of depleting them with reduction. That's what I'm getting. And that's why that 46, that 10 reduces to one. Because now it's about getting back to one. It's about taking, you know, some sort of action and moving in a new direction, having some sort of new beginning or a new start. And we have, if you look closely, it says, was he happy? So if this is a divine masculine that's coming in, I feel like they're questioning whether they are happy. And we can see clearly with domestic harmony out of 10, Tends always denote an ending. So the happiness is gone. And with reduction, I just feel like, you know, something has been changing. Their happiness is depleting. They don't feel as fulfilled. They don't feel like that house is a home. They feel that with you because we're about to pull, you know, a clarifying card for how they feel about you, which is three creativity. So this person sees you as someone that is like a beacon of light, someone that is very radiant, someone that is a master. It says, was she happy? Pardon me. I said, was he happy? So was she happy? So this person is taking some accountability. And they're realizing that they did not do what was necessary to make you happy. I said, it was, was said was he happy? So for some of you all, because I slipped up, 
that of course because I got masculine and feminine energy both watching the reading so for some of you all some feminine energy is asking themselves was he happy did I do what I could to make them happy and with that reduction in domestic harmony they're realizing they didn't for some of you feminine energy that's a masculine asking was she happy and they know that you weren't happy because they know they didn't make the effort they know that you know because now they're watching you and they're seeing how beautiful you are they're seeing how attractive you are something that they may have overlooked in the past they didn't see your worth didn't value you as they should have and now we have this um, Vesta home so someone may look at you as someone that they can build nurture create um, cultivate they can build a nucleus they can build that legacy that family they see you as a rock they see you as that happy house happy spouse vibration they see you as someone that they could have that happily ever after they see you as very maternal or very paternal uh, very domestic you know very uh, loving very kind um, you know just a nurturer just tender loving and caring um, but also very attractive very beautiful um, just wise, very well learned, very well, very well skilled. Um, you could be someone who is like a master manifester, like a uh, some sort of alchemist, a creative, um, very gifted, very talented as well. So why is three creativity here for how this person, our beautiful Scorpios, are attracting to our Scorpios? May I have a message of love and light. Wow, that flew up like crazy. So it says my aunt justice. What didn't I just say that? I can't make this up. This person sees themselves marrying you, I tell you that. But they also, as I said, because I was expounding on justice, like they can see themselves getting married with you, but they also want justice in this situation. I feel like they want to bring balance to this situation because they know in the past they did not um they did not make as much effort. They did not reciprocate as much as they could have. But they do want and desire justice. They may see you as someone who has virtue. You know, you are um, very mindful of how you show up in the world. You are very um, loving and empathic. Very, very much spiritually aligned very tuned and tapped in we have Erica Badu and it says didn't you know so this person definitely didn't realize um, that they were going to miss you as much as they did this person is also like they want things to be handled fairly and justly spirit is also saying didn't you know that you have a happy ending rapidly approaching because I feel like someone is going to return they're just kind of mustering up that strength that courage remember we saw that three earlier the solar plexus because they see you as someone that's very strong willed very confident very much a leader a boss very unique Erica Badu is very unique when I look at her and what she's wearing she looks like she is an extraterrestrial being you know the way she's dressed in this video, I'm trying to wait for them to show like her garb. One of my favorite songs to watch as soon as I change it, they're going to show up. But this is a powerful um, and they just showed this. Uh, how do you say that beetle? The scarb, this scarab. That's a beetle that um, is also um, uh, very um, sacred in ancient Kemet. So this is really, that's about, I believe, like rebirth as well, transformation. So this person has seen you transform. And they know that you're receiving karmic justice, like you're receiving your just due because you've done the work. Like you've literally reached that level of self-mastery. They, they hold you in high regard. I just feel that. And we have Eichel, and this is called release. So this person has to first release someone in order to have a happy ending. I feel when they release their past, they will have this happy ending. Because as I said, with this 46 domestic harmony there and this reduction, I just feel like someone is perhaps in a connection that is, it's kind of like they're stealing their joy. They're in like 
a connection where it's like that, you know, energy vampire. Incubus, succubus is what I'm hearing. Like they could be dealing with a devil. And I just saw a lizard or a chameleon. So that's like a shapeshifter. So they could be dealing with a false person and they realize that. And I feel like the sooner they release this past person is the sooner they will, you know, come into some sort of happy ending. So why is a um, uh, happy ending here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios and who they are attracting, who and what they're attracting? I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. So these two cards look like they want to be shown as well. Should I take these? This is three cards. Okay, they said take them. They fell out like they... Literally, they just poking out and then they fell out. So we have uh, Katesh and this says pleasure. So someone does, you know, perhaps pleasure themselves. Um, I'm also getting happy ending. Maybe someone um, could have been getting a happy ending for those of you who know what that is. Um, maybe that's just like, you know, they're self-pleasing. You know, maybe they're thinking of you self-pleasing because this is 93, which produces to 12. That's the Empress energy. Someone could literally be looking at your pictures or looking at um, photos and, you know, self-pleasing. You know, um, who is this playing right now? We got, I see Rick James, but this looks to be like a um, play, somebody's playlist. <clears throat> it's just, um, and that has several songs. So we have Black Star, and this is Definition. And this is by Talib Kweli and Most Deaf. So someone feels you are the very definition of, you know, perhaps their happiness. You are the very definition of royalty, regalness. Um, you could be seen as an earth angel. You could be seen as, you know, a wife, a husband, you know, um, someone's divine counterpart. Um, they most definitely love you is what I just heard as well. And we have white buffalo woman. So what did I say? You bring someone a lot of happiness, peace, joy. Um, they feel content with you. They feel like they could be their authentic selves with you. Um, I feel like you also have some sort of, um, if you've been going through something, you know, that has been very uh, tumultuous or difficult, you know, I feel like you're going to have that time to kind of like just exhale you know what i'm saying because i do get a sense of you all like really going through um a great deal um doing this shadow work and someone really feels um you know peace with you peace around you um peace in your presence i feel like you also are going to be um you know at peace you're going to be at peace because of this hard work, because of the efforts. What we have is four and one, that's five. Five and three, that's eight. This person sees you as a wish fulfillment. Eight and three, that's 11. So this person definitely feels like you are their twin flame. And I feel like you and your twin flame are going to be at peace. I feel like, you know, reconnecting with your divine counterpart or your twin flame is going to bring peace. Um, I feel this person will be the very definition of peace, love, and happiness. Uh, so what we have for rebirth, we have Pomona Plenty. So for you doing your shadow work and transforming, going through that startling metamorphosis, spirit is going to give you plenty. You're going to receive plenty reward, plenty recognition. We have Gaia Creation. So you all are definitely connected to uh, Mama Gaia, Daughter Earth. You all are healers, shamans, light workers. You all are connected. You are tapped in. So connect to that energy, as I was saying. Go out and take that nature walk. Sit by the bodies of water. You have to connect to Mother Gaia so that you can receive the downloads. But I feel there's plenty of messages, plenty. Um, someone's coming in also to to offer more. You know, they didn't make the effort in the past, but I feel like this time around, they're going to offer you plenty. And I do feel like, you know, this is a connection that um, 
is it's like it's a part of your divinity is to come into that union with this 11 and the six what is that i mean the seven that's nine so whoever this you know energy is they, they've been in that hermit mode really working on themselves mastering their craft sharpening their sword you know when you're in that hermit mode energy that's really about you know self-awareness taking that time to look back, reflect, introspect, take those internal self audits. And how I'm getting these numbers is I'm just adding each of these numerology cards up. And what we have lastly is we have Yemen Yah hope. So you all have maintained, you know, that hope you've walked in faith and not by sight. And you were able to persevere. You were able to heal. You were able to learn to love thyselves. To learn that love was the inside job. You may have prayed and wished upon stars. Someone is hoping to reconcile, rekindle this connection. Someone that absolutely loves you. And we have D'Angelo. And this is called me and those dreamy eyes of mine. So someone could be really just... As I said, dreaming of you, thinking of you. Maybe you have a secret admirer. That four is the heart chakra. So they are hoping that, you know, this love um, can transcend this space and time. Like this is someone that really hopes that, you know, that this leads to perhaps marriage. This leads to uh, commitment. You all are absolutely like you have a spiritual gift. You have some sort of successful spiritual career that you are tapping into. On the bottom of the deck, we have this pleasure. So you bring someone a lot of like pleasure. They feel pleasure. They feel peace. They feel this happiness. They feel this, this contentment. And this is what you provide. Let me see what's underneath that. I'm curious. See? Healing. You've been healing. They've been healing. And this is all like because you've inspired them to do their work, their shadow work. And this is what's making you super irresistible. They find you to be irresistible. It says Freya. That's beautiful, man. And that's what happens when you heal yourself. Heal thyself, love thyself, know thyself. You know, that's that's the that's the order. When you go to ancient Kemet, before you even step into those beautiful pyramids, the, right above those, the door, the entry, it says, know thyself. So that is that is a, a, a task that we all have to, to um, pursue. And that's why it will behoove us to put these things down that distract us. You know, I just look back to how life was 20 years ago. We didn't have half as many distractions and we were able to get so much more done. They got these bots now writing papers for you and doing all these things. This AI is literally trying to take over. And so we have to be like, we got to stay ahead of the game. You literally have to stay like, you know, this is a game of chess, not checkers, beloved. And if you don't know the game of chess, it would behoove you to learn that. But I digress. So me and these dreamy eyes of mine, didn't I say somebody was spying on you and watching you? This is the Page of Swords, beloved. Someone is definitely watching you from a distance. This is someone trying to figure you out, figure things out. And we got judgment. We got justice. We got the Two of Cups. Yep. So this is that person that, you know, may have received a little bit of karma for some of the past behaviors, past actions. You know, um, they're definitely hoping and desiring that... You know, this time around, they could shoot their shot and you will be, you know, you will be, um, you would submit or, or I should say surrender, you know, but this person is ready to communicate. We did see that communication card with the numerology deck. So this person is secretly watching you and desiring to communicate with you. They are still wearing a mask, so they could be like hidden behind the scenes, maybe shadow, um, you know, like in the shadows, you know, um, how do they say that? Um, somebody may have, you know, created like a dummy account of some sort, 
And then we have the seven of wands. So they may be like kind of hiding because they feel like you're going to be super, uh, you know, maybe they see you as very guarded, very protected, uh, protective of your energy. See this? They are inspired by you. They could be watching you like you could be like a teacher, a healer, you know, of some sort. You can see like she's conducting some sort of class and teaching, you know, so they can feel like your energy is very guarded, like you're on a high frequency. So you're not just going to like just let anybody come in and distract you off your path, like you're standing your ground, you're protecting your energy. What about a spirit of love and light? Why is... um? So we got the fool here. Yeah, this person realizes they made some some mistakes in the past. They may feel foolish, which is why they're watching. But they also want this this shot. They want to take this shot. They want to take the, you know, this leap of faith here. Because they do feel this passion. They feel this irresistibility, you know, like you're irresistible. We have Steven, Stevie Wonder, and this is called Ribbons in the Sky. So that's a beautiful song. One of the songs that I was like, if I ever get com in a committed relationship, that's one of the songs that I want playing, beloved. I love this song. I love a lot of songs. But this is like, you know, this person definitely is like, they want to take that leap of faith. They really love you. This is a beautiful love song, by the way. Yeah, they want a victory. They want victory. They want breakthroughs. They want a major breakthrough with you. See that? I can't make this up. This time they're going to make a very genuine offer, tangible offer. Remember, we saw plenty. The Ace of Pentacles is also showing like you all may have taken some sort of chance, you know, with perhaps a business or, you know, maybe just with the direction of your life where you were going and it's leading to some sort of success. Spirit is blessing you with some major recognition, some major reward. This is something that you've earned. Yeah, somebody's coming in. They could be apologizing, just being very chivalrous, being very, you know, loving, very charming, maybe even apologetic, extending an apology of some sort. Uh, Spirit of love and light. My computer is about to die, beloved. So let me get this message out. Oh, man. So we have the page of cups here. So someone is going to come in with an offer of love. They're going to apologize. Let me see how much time I have. Oh man, what does it say? Oh man, let me get this um, charger. Give me a moment. Spirit was like, you better catch that. Something told me to look at it. It was literally like seconds. <laughs> it was seconds and it would have been just like I would have did all this for nothing that's happened to me so many times but um yeah so this is definitely someone that's coming in I feel there's an apology you know maybe because they know they didn't make the effort or this is someone coming in now trying to show you that they're going to make the time they're going to make the effort because we have this effort 13 beauty and then we have this uh Knight of Cups here. So that's really someone who is, you know, taking the time uh, to perhaps make an offer because he's like extending this cup of love. And this is someone that finds you to be attractive. Um, this could be someone that really sees you as like very uh, well balanced, you know, even though there's masculine and feminine on this card, that's just how they could perceive you as someone who's really made the effort to change. You know, you've gone through some startling metamorphosis with this 13, which is the death. So, you know, this is the death of the old you and the birth of a new you. You know, you've you've been you know, transformed into someone that they truly admire and someone that they now feel is very beautiful, someone that they may want to apologize for their efforts. They feel foolish, you know, they feel really foolish because whatever they took a chance with, it, it definitely um, didn't lead to happiness. If anything, it led to, you know, no happiness. It led to disappointment, you know, it led to some sort of burdensome uh, circumstance. And, you know, you are that wish fulfillment. You are the one. Um, I feel like they wonder about you with Stevie Wonder. Um, some of you all could be dealing with someone named Stevie, first, middle, and last. Uh, but they do wonder about you. They wonder about the decisions they made. They wonder about taking this chance, you know, just 
taking that leap of faith, walking in faith, you know. Um, let's see what we have. So why is this 46 domestic harmony and segment reduction here? So how this person that our beautiful Scorpios are feeling, um, uh, is attracted, how our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them. This person that our Scorpios are attracting to them. Thank you, Spirit. And we have, look at this. This is like obsession. Someone was dealing with the devil. Didn't I say they was dealing with someone who was wearing a mask? It was dealing with someone who was like incubus, succubus. Look what's on the bottom of the deck for how they feel about you. We got this ace of, of cups there on the bottom of the deck. So whoever this person is dealing with, what we're clarifying is domestic harmony. And this is exactly what I was picking up with this reduction. So they was dealing with a codependent, incubus, succubus, energy, vampire type of energy. This is someone that had them caught up in like a web of lies. My right ear started ringing when I said that. So they could have somebody like spying on their phone calls or like spying on their information, you know, like um, just like, you know, just kind of telling lies even. But this energy here with the devil, you know, is is really like uh, very, very tricky energy, envious, jealous, you know, and this is why I feel like that happiness card. It said, you know, they, when they leave a situation, release someone. They're going to have that peace because remember we had it said release and then it said peace. And so someone feels so much more peace when they get rid of this devil energy. Someone was trapped in a very codependent connection, living with like the enemy, sleeping with the enemy. I'm hearing in my mind's eye. And, um, you know, I feel like there was a lot. Maybe their funds was reduced. Their happiness was reduced. And now they're just like, I'm done. Uh, we have Nas, the cure playing. So as I said, the cure is to walk away. The cure of whatever disease, dis-ease, dis-happiness. Or I mean, I said dis-ease, dis-happiness. Whatever dis-ease that they're having within themselves or whatever unhappiness they're experiencing, they feel like you are the cure. They feel like love is the answer because we have the Ace of Cups here on the bottom of the deck and we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. So they feel like you, you know, are their starship. Like, you know, we had that star, Atlantic star. So whatever distance, it's like they know that um, they're going to have to take some sort of action to come towards you because that 46 reduces to one. The energy they're in is an end. They're ending something. Something's come full circle. It's a karmic cycle that's wrapping up. But what they want with the cure it's like they want justice. They feel like that will bring the peace. That will bring the happiness. They feel like you're the one. You know, like you're the yin to their yang. They feel like you have a nurturing, loving energy. Um, so let's tap in. So why is three creativity, ma'at justice here for how this person Scorpios are attracting to them feel about Scorpios? Look at this. I can't make this up. Look at that. Six of Wands. Victory. This person feels like you will bring a victory, like coming towards you because the six is like, oh, excuse me, I was burping and hiccuping at the same time. So this person feels like, you know, this is like this is the last lap. You know, this is like, you know, the victory lap right here. Like they want to experience this breakthrough. You know, this is also very um, indicative of like, you know, perhaps like some sort of marriage. You know, because with the justice here, they just feel like with you, you're the one that got away. You will, you know, bring happiness, you know, into their lives. Like you're the cure to whatever heartache. You're the cure to whatever, you know, um, disappointment, you know, or dissatisfaction that they may have experienced. They also see you, how they feel about you as you have a lot of success in your life. Like you are, um, you know, like well received. You are... Um, well-renowned, you are um, recognized, you know, for your work, for your efforts, or just for your beauty. Like, they, they see you as someone that's, that's very um, spiritually aligned, you know, balanced mind, body, and soul. Like, they really see you as someone who is very um, victorious, bottom of the deck we have the five of wands so whatever chaotic circumstance they are dealing with behind the scenes that's the reason why they want peace because it's just all kind of the dun dun you know trying to fight 
it's all kind of, you know, and, and they, whoever they was dealing with, remember I was pick, picking up on like a, a lizard or a chameleon I was seeing. And I was saying like somebody was definitely dealing with like a shapeshifter. Someone finally sees someone for who they are. Like they caught them, you know, in, in the act of something. You know, they could have had them confused and mentally conflicted. And then they caught them in the act. And that's why, you know, once they... What once they I feel release that person, that's when they're going to come into some peace, and that's when they're going to have some sort of happy, happy um, outcome, a happy ending. And we have um, Denise Williams, and this is called Black Butterfly. So butterflies, what do they represent? Transformation, rebirth. So there's going to be what rebirth? This is what we're about to clarify after. Uh, this happy ending. So why is happy ending and peace there for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios and who they're attracting? They have a message of love and light. Why is happy ending? Thank you, Spirit. Good Lord. That jumped up. These cards are jumping out. They got something to say. And we got the Magi. See that? So this magician, they're trying to manifest something. They, they, they're really working on the energy uh, to, to get out of a situation. They're like really tapping into their inner magi, their eye magi nation, their inner alchemist. And I was picking up on that eight of cups. See that eight of cups right there? So you was giving, you know, you was making offers that weren't being uh, accepted, you know, but I feel this time around, this person is going to now give you offers. They're going to, there's going to be plentiful offers made, but someone is really behind the scenes manifesting, um, you know, some sort of happy ending, for themselves, some sort of reunion I'm hearing in my mind's eye because they want this, they want to bring about some sort of peace and justice. And we have this Eight of Cups here. So, you know, you walked away, you changed, and someone may be, you know, returning, coming in very assertively, very confidently to offer more. And with this creation, this is how they see you. They see you as very powerful because remember, your energy is creativity. And then we have Mother Gaia. So they may feel like you ground them. You know, you bound, you bring balance. The seven is the chariot and the chariot is in traditional tarot, uh, you know, is being um, moved by two, two bull or two horses, depending on the depiction of the car. And so the two is duality. That's masculine, feminine. So they do see that you are like, you know, that that um, divine counterpart and they may want to return. They're going to be uh, very, you know, intentional this time around making offers. Um, as we said, they're going to make the effort this time around. They're going to offer plenty and not the bare minimums. Why is the 16? What is, what is this card again? 16. Oh, rebirth. Um, plenty. Pomona and Gaia creation here for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios and who they're attracting. I have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Thank you, spirit. So look at that. <laughs> Can't make this up. We got the Ten of Pentacles. So this person definitely feels this time around like they're going to offer you plenty, just like the card says. This is really everything that I've mentioned in terms of, you know, building that nucleus, cultivating a relationship, having a partner that you can compromise with, grow with, build a legacy, build a family, generational wealth. This is happy house, happily ever after, happy spouse. This is someone that speaks your love language. This is someone that absolutely feels like you ground them. They feel like you all are a very solid connection. Um, and they do want to, you know, rekindle this connection because rebirth is really like, you know, starting over, starting back at one. Uh, and this time around, I feel like they're going to come in very confidently. They're also very balanced. They've emotionally in equilibrium and harmony. Look what we have here. The page of swords. This is what we first started off with. So this person is watching you. This person's watching you because they've been getting more and more inspired. We have this four of pentacles. They've been holding on to you and they have had some sort of epiphanic moment to come toward you, to make an offer. This is someone who is definitely looking at this situation for what it truly is. And they realize that you are that one, you know, that got away. They realize that in the past, um, you know, they may not have 
made the effort, but for whatever work you've been doing on yourself, they've watched you persevere and they've grown more and more inspired by you, inspired by your strength. And it has really triggered and activated them and encouraged and inspired them to do their shadow work, to do their work. And this is why they desire to communicate with you, uh, because there's so much that they want to get off their chest. You see how the cards were just jumping out of my hand. This person really wants to express something to you because I feel like they are now matching your energy where you're all solid. Um, with this yellow, I feel like this green is showing um, their solidarity because this is the number four. Uh, and remember, in the beginning, I was mentioning that number three is the empress. The four is the emperor. So that's a suit. So here we have it. This is what's in your outcome. Remember, you had two cards, uh, the 16 rebirth and this four flew out together as your outcome messages. So this, this is the energy and vibration. And I feel the three and four is why this rebirth is here, because there's an opportunity to reconcile, to reunite, to repair uh, a connection. We have um, Imagine playing by John Legend. And it's imagine all the people such a beautiful song, but this is what they're imagining. They could literally be like daydreaming about this, uh, definitely praying about it because this is a hope card. So they are praying, wishing, hoping, sending up petitions, you know, wishing upon a star. Um, but they are very hopeful and imagining um, this union, imagining, reuniting, they could be, like I said, setting intention and tapping into their I imagination, um, tapping into that alchemist energy to uh, manifest some sort of new beginning, fresh start. So, yeah. So with the four of pentacles, we got the, um, yeah, they're, they're definitely watching you because I just saw the three of pentacles. This like you see how he's looking through this telescope. So they are keeping tabs, beloveds. They are keeping tabs. All right, let's get a couple more messages and then we're going to wrap it up. Get some messages from Kipper. Asheo. By Spirit of Love and Light. What do we have? So occupation. So this is about, you know, working very diligently. You know, some of you all, whatever you've been tasked to do, it's like Spirit sees, you know, how hard you've been working. Um, how diligent, how focused, how willful, how determined. And that 34 is the reason why I feel like you all are, you know, here to um, help the collective because you've reached that that higher level of consciousness. Some of you all have been really mastering your craft. It's like the seeds that you've sowed. This is like a sewing machine. So I'm hearing the seeds you've sowed are going to absolutely pay off. I'm getting like the seven of pentacles as well, you know, where you really invested, you know, blood, sweat and tears into um, something that you've done and it's going to pay off eventually. Some of you all kept your, your eyes on the prize and uh, it's absolutely manifesting. We have Domani and this is called Daydream. So as I said, this person dreams about you, daydreams about you, thinks about you all the time. Thinking perhaps about their approach, how to come in, what to say, how to make the offer, you know, just kind of literally like analysis paralysis, over analyzing things instead of just taking action. It's like just take action. So we have pathway and occupation. So this this focus has led to some sort of breakthrough. Um, this is leading to some new path. It's leading to some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of action. Um, that wherever you go, it's like it's leading to some sort of success, um, some sort of breakthrough. It's leading to even um, just like, um, you know, just spirit is also saying, like, you know, just take, you know, take the the that that necessary step forward, like walk in your power, you know, brave your light because I'm getting like the strength. Um, it's about braving your light. It's about going on that journey, continuing. You know, someone has to really be strong and show up in their in their uh, strength to perhaps take action uh, because it is a whole new. Um, it's leading to a whole new voyage. It's leading to a whole new pathway, if you will. 
something different from what they could ever imagine. So that requires strength. Sometimes people are afraid of change. They're very fixed. This could be your energy. And spirit is perhaps telling you that there's a new pathway. There's some this 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 new um you know something could present itself and it could lead to a whole new a whole new um outcome that you may not be experience, uh, expecting, pardon me. So we have on the bottom of the deck, privileged lady. I can't make this up. And that is 12, which reduces to 3, which is the empress. So this person definitely is coming in with an apology. This is someone that does daydream about you, think about you. This is someone that does want to apologize because now they see you in your true light. You have privileged lady, so they obviously see that you are self-sufficient, independent. If you're a man, they see you as very self-sufficient, very strong, renaissance man. You go get it, you make things happen. Very much, you know, a go-getter. And this is very attractive. They're seeing you in a whole new light also with that hangman energy. That 12 is the hangman in traditional tarot. So it's like now they can see you in your light. Now they can see the errors in their ways. It's like they're gaining a whole new perspective and a whole new perception of you all in the same. Uh, we have community here. So maybe their angels and ancestors have been helping them to see that they need to, you know, release this this very toxic energy, you know, maybe via their dreams, because we have Domani playing dreams, daydreams, maybe via their dreams, they've been receiving messages. Um, and spirit is showing them like something is really eating away, chipping away at your energy. Uh, we had a mono um, Imani, uh, what was his name? Something Imani in the beginning of the reading playing energy. So someone's energy is being, you know, it's like succubus. It's like a leech. It's a parasite that is just kind of chipping away at someone's energy force, life force. Force. And so community ancestors are guiding the way, giving someone uh, some sort of download, letting them see that something isn't what it appears to be. So they need to kind of plan and prepare and strategize a way out. Um, so let's tap in. So why is this 46 domestic harmony um, reduction segment and the devil here or this person or this thing that Scorpios are attracting to them? See that? It says poverty or despair, pardon me. So this this has been a very unhappy, just as I said, unhappy union because that 46 means it's an ending. So things could have started off, you know, really passionate and, and really fiery and intense because uh, it could have been just like incubus, succubus. The sex was really good. Um, you know, they could have been doing it anywhere. I'm hearing that 112 song. Um, we could do it anywhere. So it was like it, there was all that passion and lust. And then when that, you know, when that fire went out, um, there was nothing. You know, it was like something start like dwindling. It was reduc with reduction. It's like the fire went out. You know, the passion was lost. Something was lost. And all they had was this like codependent you know, connection. And this has led to despair. You know, uh, someone may have been left out in the cold, felt abandoned. Um, maybe in this relationship they were in. Um, so I feel like a lady abandoned them because we have D'Angelo lady playing. So whoever they could have chose could have abandoned them. And that's why, you know, they feel like you are uh, karma. You know, <laughs> they feel like you're car their karma because uh, you could have taught them a lesson. You know, karmic lessons are, you know, just that. They're, you People come into your life to teach you a lesson. So someone could have learned that you can't always go with um, what looks good, what feels good. Uh, you have to go with um, what is actually good. And the only way you can discern, discern what that is, is if you're not like operating in your low vibration and, and being uh, manipulated by your your you know your sexual your sexual parts and pieces so yeah so this energy here with family room as i said i felt like someone was definitely in a marriage in a partnership lived with someone because we got this family room here um and there was definitely like something ended some some it was a separation a divorce something happened so why is 46 domestic harmony Segment, reproduction, despair, and this devil here for the person our beautiful Scorpios are attracting. 
you know, message of love and light. The lady is also considered the empress, and that's also a wife. So someone was dealing with someone who could have absolutely been, you know, their wife. And so we have main male. So there was a main male. There goes that number one. So this is that main male. Oh, why am I doing that? This I'm getting a card for a card that I already did. This is for uh, creativity, justice, the six of wands. So you have a main male coming in, ladies. And look at this. This is like, this is all your hard work and effort. This is like spirit is saying, here you go. This is great fortune. You are going to be rewarded. You're going to be regarded, acknowledged. This is recognition and reward. This is like material blessings for your hard work and effort. You've done the work. You've done your shadow work. You've inspired many. You're in this empress or em emperor energy, which speaks to self-mastery, which speaks to doing your shadow work. And that's why mama, you know, mama, uh, this is, uh, who is this? Abundantia, you know, remember we also had Lakshmi that was saying prosperity. So you will be prosperous. But there is a main male. How they feel about you is, as I said, they see you as the one, the yin to their yang. They feel like, you know, you are absolutely beautiful. You are absolutely wife material, husband material. If this is a main female, just, you know, switch a rule. But they, they see victory with you. They see marriage. They see the whole shebang bang. And we got this great fortune here. So this could be, again, wish fulfillment, blessing. That's why this happy ending is here. We got peace here as well, as well as manifestation. Some of you all could have been manifesting more money, success in your business. You could have been doing money rituals. Uh, some of you all are doing something where, you know, your time is coming. You know, there is going to be a wish fulfillment. Someone could also be coming in. As a fulfillment, this is like someone destined to be in your life. So why is, and, and with this happy, um, okay, these cards are stuck in my hands. So we got, look at that, great fortune. And we have family room. So whoever this person that was in this situation, because remember this was on the bottom of the deck when we was pulling the card for 46, domestic harmony, the person you're attracting. Now it came out with what's hidden. This family room. And they're trying to, you know, recreate a family with you. They're trying to reestablish something with you. And then we have official person. So this person has been doing the work and they are coming in in that divine masculine energy. If it's a divine feminine, just reverse the roles. But that four is showing like, you know, that emperor energy. They're coming in official. They're coming in not playing games. They're coming in to bring you peace. They're coming in to bring you happiness, the truth. They feel this is a destiny type of love. They definitely um, feel fortunate to have you in their life. I'm hearing that Maxwell song. Fortunate to have you, girl. I'm so glad you're in my world. Blessed ashore as the sky is blue. I bless the day that I found you. Yeah, this is how they feel. So why is the 16 rebirth plenty? Creativity and the Ten of Pentacles here for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios and who they are attracting. They have a message of love. Thank you, Spirit. Official person came right back out. So these cards, like, I can't make this up. This is the official person. They've transformed. They want to let you know, like, they mean business. They're not playing no games. This is somebody who has done their work. They've been doing a lot of work. They've been really, like, inspired by you. And this time around, they're going to offer plenty. Their heart chakra is wide open. They can see themselves building a family, a nucleus, a legacy. They can see, you know, happy house, happy spouse. This, I feel, is also like, you know, a sacred union. Because you see like that ancestor sitting there watching. So you could have like an ancestor, a maternal figure, you know, a very maternal figure, like a grandmother, a mother, auntie, cousin, sister. That could be overseeing this union. And I feel like it's because there's work to do. You both are here to do some healing. It's like, you know, the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is to come into union so that they can wake up the collective, so that they can work together. 
to heal the collective. If you look up in the top corner, you can see, you know, a group of people kind of walking together. So this is like, you know, inspiring others, waking up the collective, healing the collective. And this says plenty. So they are coming in to offer more, offer plenty. Someone could be like, you know, recovering from heartache and loss. They've persevered through the pain, the hurt. This is 13 reverse. So this is that same person mirroring your energy of transformation, going through, you know, the death. The death could represent physical death of loss of a loved one, or it could be the death of a mindset, you know, and, and, and changing one's behaviors and habits and, you know, just recreating a new, you know, a new programming, you know. But they are absolutely watching, they are studying, and they are holding on to hope. That's what keeps them going, you know. That's what keeps them going. That's what keeps them resilient. That's what keeps them persevering. They're healing. They're recovering. That's powerful. And we have Don Cherry. What is the name of this song? It says Om Shanti. Om Shanti. So that's um, that's actually like a mantra. It's like an um, it's a, a mantra. It's a Buddhist mantra. So they could be like really, you know, meditating to get things straight. You know, they've absolutely come to the realization that you are, you know, that one that got away. That's why they're spying, kind of waiting for the opportunity or the opportune time to come in to approach you. So why is perseverance, hope, and the page of swords here for the outcome? And then we're going to wrap it up. Why is the four perseverance? Thank you, spirit. And we have courthouse. So someone is dap. They are going through some sort of divorce proceedings. So I'm I'm feeling like you know someone is finally saying, okay, I'm done. I'm leaving. That could be also you know why they're recovering because you know whenever you invest in a marriage or relationship, when you're in a commitment, it can be very you know painful going through that process. So we got expectation. We have courthouse. I mean, we have courtship. Pardon me. We have imprisonment and thief. Didn't I say someone was dealing with like a false person? So this is why the courthouse is on the bottom of the deck. This person is holding on to hope because this is what I feel some of you all are expecting. You're expecting someone to come in and to offer you the love that you deserve. That's what you're hopeful for. That's what they're hopeful for that you will accept. But what they have been dealing with, the outcome... This is like out with the old energy, you know, this could be a, their mindset as well. This could also represent like, you know, the energy they were around, sneaky energy. They felt very caged. They felt very boxed in because remember, we also had this devil and that's what the devil does. He's very deceptive. He definitely, you know, is a trickster. He puppeteers. He's fugazi. He speaks with a forked tongue. He'll say anything to get what he wants. And that's exactly what they was dealing with. They was dealing with somebody who was really, you know, playing mind games, mind uckery. This is like the six um, you know, this, the, the first eye. So someone could have really started to pay attention to uh, their intuition. That could be why they sitting here all in despair because somebody could have gaffled them out of thousands is what I'm hearing. Could have gaffled them out of money, you know. And so what they do in the meantime and between time is they could be spying on you, you know, kind of like, you know, holding on to hope, you know, that they could have this, you know, this, this is what they're expecting is like this reunion, this, this, you know, this, this, uh, this opportunity to to court you to speak to you to 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 um, apologize to express deep remorse you know and I feel you know with that cupid shooting its shot at the feminine energy I do feel like you know this is that person that is um, just wanting justice in the situation so they're meditating to get things straight. What's underneath this 32? I mean, this 23 courthouse. So we have 36 distant horizons. And remember, I was speaking to an anchor. And so that's what what's happened. And this person is 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 really trying to, um, you know, get their anchor, uh, is trying to, to uproot their anchor from a situation that has had them feeling very um, stuck and stagnant for quite some time. Whoever they're dealing with, this main female, 
that they were dealing with, whether that was a wife, fiance, someone they were living with. So they were feeling very stuck and stagnant. The situation is dead, stinking, and buried. It's done, done, Finn. And this is who they're, you know, parting ways with. This has kept them stuck for quite some time. And now they are taking the necessary steps. They're taking some sort of action. This is like they're making a change. Because that's 23. That reduces to 5. That's about change. So they're making some sort of change so that they can, you know, come in and court you. Whether this is feminine or masculine energy. Do the switcheroo. Do the flip-flop. Whatever you got to do. Switch it. Flip it. You know. Smack it up. <laughs> Rub it down. <laughs> Whatever you got to do. But I thank you all for tuning and tapping in, beloveds. Thank you so much for allowing me to uh, to get my, you know, my thoughts off of my chest. I be feeling like I be, you know, I, I might start doing some some live so we could just kind of build and, and exchange ideas and just, you know, connect. Uh, because, you know, the time is near where you got to start really like um, forming a community. You know, we're, we're, you know, a soul tribe. We've been, you know, connecting for a couple of years now. So, you know, I know that there's a lot of brilliant minds out there. Um, and I want to hear your thoughts. You know, this this has to be an equal exchange. But um, we'll we'll talk more about that in the future. But thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful souls. If you are new, I hope you resonate with the video, with the reading. Um, I will that my energy resonated with yours. Um, and if it has, definitely uh, don't be shy. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Uh, and definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. Um, and for those of you who are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Peace, love, and light.